Hello, good morning. Hi, good morning, sir. So <clears throat> let's wait for two to three minutes. So I think uh, people will join, I guess I'm expecting, but uh, let's see. After two to three minutes, we will start this. Okay. Sam, please go on with Sam. <clears throat> Hello, you able to hear me? Trilok and Shivani? Yeah, yeah, sir. Yeah, you can hear me, right? Yeah. Right, yeah. <clears throat> So I'll just introduce myself. So my I'm Raghu. So 
I'm working in an MNC from 2010. I was in this training field. Uh, I train many people in Excel macros, advanced Excel, VBA, and uh, <clears throat> Tableau. So I am working, I'm a working professional. I work as a senior data engineer in one of the MNC. So I play around with Tableau, advanced Excel, big data analytics, and some automation stuff. So this is my expertise, okay? And um, I just want you know, I just wanted you, I just wanted you to speak out. So just uh, uh, why you're joining for Excel classes? So what made you to join for this uh, class? So just let me know. So how day-to-day uh, -day life, how you are facing some Excel situations? Like I just wanted to know. So Trilok, can you go ahead? Yeah, sure, sir. Um, so my name is Trilok and I'm uh, currently working in one of the company and um, in my work, uh, the, the lot of Excel has been used and uh, and I think that my knowledge on the Excel is limited. I'm okay. not able to uh, use it like I uh, just want to know what more about Excel and work on Excel sheets. So it will make my life easy. So that's why right. I joined this Excelatics uh, training. Okay, you're working as an analyst or? Uh, I'm working as a team lead, but um, team lead. I switched to, yeah, I switched to this uh, different company. And uh, over here, it, uh, Excel is more, more it is being used. Okay. Yeah. So you are into financial or? Uh... Yeah, financial. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Tilok. Uh, Shivani? Sham Kumar, Sham Kumar. Not visible. I will share the screen. And so I wanted to learn Excel for Domos. Okay. Okay, Shivani, right? Uh, and uh, Savanti, she's only just on phone or she's not going to speak. Sham Kumar, sir, good morning. I'm sharing my screen. Let me know whether you're able to see my screen or not. Yeah, you can see your screen. You can see my screen, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sham Kumar, sir, stop the video, sir. Stop Kumar, Sham Kumar, sir. Stop the video. Okay, so um, so this is a kind of introduction class. So I'll be just, I'll see how many people are joining. So based on the joining, so I'll just start the batch. So here, what do you know about Excel? For example, can um, people tell me uh, how many rows and columns we have in Excel? Any idea um, about how many rows and columns we have in Excel? As far as I know, I think it's around uh, one lakh fifty, approximately. Rows. Okay. Anyone else? How many rows and how many columns we have? Rows. Columns. So how many rows? Like for example, we have. Look, tell me how many rows we have. What is the last row? Uh, it's around uh, 10 lakhs. 10 lakhs, 476. Yeah. And columns? Columns would be in hundreds, I believe. It's 16,384. 
Hello? Yeah, yes, yes, sir. Sham Kumar, sir, now you are able to hear me? In Pistunda, Sham Kumar, sir. Ah, in Pistunda. Okay, sir. Mute, uh, go on mute here, everyone. If. Okay, we have 10 lakhs 48,576 rows and 16,384 columns. So, as per uh, the rows and columns which we have, can we put that much of data? Like that means 10 lakhs 48,576 cross 16,384 columns. Can we put in this Excel? Yes. Free look? Yes. Is it, are you sure? Yeah, we can put, uh, we can fill up all the uh, data in one sheet. Okay, in one sheet, we can, yeah, we can, but Excel will, call, and, Excel yeah, will cannot be. hold that much of data. Yeah, right. It may take time to uh, move to one, move one cell to another. It may, the Excel may get hang. Yeah. While saving the file. While saving the file? Yeah, while saving the file, it may get hang or it may take more time to save. Exactly. So while loading a file, we if you are putting that much of data, we can, but if we are putting that much of data, the Excel cannot hold, it will process and to open that file, it will take a lot of time. All right. Okay. So Excel is a flat file where we can see the data. So if you go to servers and uh, if you go to servers and uh, databases, there you can't see the data. It's there the files are saved in you know uh, in servers. So the process time, the everything will be very faster in servers and databases. But here, uh, these are flat files. If we open automatically to process and to view the data, it will take a lot of time. So. Uh, in Excel, we can put that much of data, but we can't see that much of data. I think most, uh, mostly, almost one lakh is maximum. One lakh to three lakhs. Okay. That is the max. Okay. So Excel can hold only that much of data. So what is the shortcut key for getting today's date? Any idea? Alt semicolon. What is the shortcut key for getting today's date? Control semicolon. Time. Control shift semicolon. <laughs> you will be getting the current time. Okay. Excel has these many rows and columns, and uh, we can put only limited data, not all. We cannot fill the data of whole sheet. Okay. It will slow down. We can put max one to three lakhs of data. So the file will be very faster. You know, you can open and you can view. If you apply any formulas also for one to three lakhs, also, it will take a lot of time. Okay. To process that formulas and everything. Okay. The shortcut. Key will be uh, for date, it will be control semicolon. For time, it will be control shift semicolon. Okay. And uh, what are the Excel versions? What are the Excel versions we have? Right now, in most of the MNCs, most of the people are using 
365. Okay. Before that, we have. Before that, we have. Before that, we have. Before that, we have. I only know this many years. Okay. <laughs> okay. So what is the file saving format for all these things? Excel. The file saving format will be in Excel SX. Okay. I think here Excel is like from 2010 or seven, it started with Excel as it. Okay. So in, so for each and every version, they have started with a few futures added. In 2019, they came up with few futures. We are in few formulas, 2016, few futures. 2013, they have introduced the power pivot and uh, power pivot and spark lines. 2010, okay, they have we have see, we can see the file button, and from 2010 there are <clears throat> the new look. They have removed this Windows button and they have kept file button here from 2010. If you go and see in 2007, you will be seeing Windows button, okay. But here in my machine, you see a lot of tabs. Lot of tabs, but all these you can't find in your uh, machines. So I have few customized tabs here. <clears throat> so you can see till view. Okay, remaining, ignore, please. And uh, Let's start. So these are the versions. In, okay. Let's start with you know basic Excel concept. So here we'll be starting. We'll be learning starting from basics. Starting from basics, like you know, I will be starting the session from Control C and Control. Okay. Control C is for copy. Control T is for paste. Okay. From, from this, we'll start home tab. So these are called as tabs, you know. All these are called as tabs. This portion is called as ribbon. These are called as tabs. Okay. Home tab, insert tab, page load, formulas, data. Don't consider this data refresh. Okay. Review, view. Okay. You can find till review and view. You can't find data refresh in your machines. Why? Because I have customized few macros here. So these are called as tabs. And this whole part is called as a ribbon. This whole button is called as a ribbon. Okay, these are called as tabs, and this is called as ribbon. And if you go each and every tab, there are options. Okay, each and every tab, home tab has. Formatting options. Home tab has formatting options. Okay. What are these formatting options? Any idea? Formatting options means. Have you heard about format the data? You can see here in home tab only you see many of things. Have you have you uh, are you identifying any options like conditional formatting and format button? Hmm? Are you noticing?
um, formatted formatting means basically uh, changing the size and uh, 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 size and colors and making it bold or something like that. The text, the text uh, details in the cell. Correct. Exactly. So home tab, home tab will find most of the options related to formatting. Okay, most of the options related to formatting. For example, for example, I have a table, sample table. Okay, I have a sample table. So I'm preparing here some sample table. Uh, please hold on, I'll tell you how to prepare, but not now. Okay, this is a data. So this is a data in home tab. For example, I'm not going to change the any value here. Formatting functions means just like adding beautification. Like for example, if this is a data, if this is a table, are you going to send the similar kind of data to anyone? See, look. No. What you will do then? I'll need to make different cells and then send it. Like I want to make some sense with the data. Mm -hmm. There should be some sense. Like when someone is looking, a beginner or someone is looking right. at the data, they can easily, they have to easily identify. Yeah. Why? Like how? Like for example, maybe some so highlighting. Whatever the options which I am doing, all are in home tab only. I'm not going to change the value. I will add some thing to just to look feel better, okay? Mm -hmm. For example, this is my heading. Okay, this is my heading. And I want my heading to be, you know, bold. Yeah. Okay, this is bold, I have done bold, which is a formatting functions. I am not changing any value. Next, um, I'm increasing my font. But because this is my heading, people want to see my heading, okay? I wanted to, you know, make it bold and make the text somewhat larger. Why? Right? Because they can easily identify which column it is, okay? And next, I want to, if you want to apply font color, you can apply. If you don't want, just leave it, okay? And uh, coming to data, I want to apply borders. These are borders. These are alignments. Now look at the feel of the table now. Earlier, how it is, now how it is. Okay. Are you identifying how to represent the data? So all these formatting functions you will find in home tab. Like for example, these are increasing the font size. So I'll be discussing each and everything with the shortcut. Okay, each and everything with the shortcut. Like for example, textile, increasing the text, uh, like font color, background color, borders, voice, alignments, wrap text, merge center, and all the number formats. So there are different uh, currency styles as well. If you open here, so whatever the country you're working for, for the financial analyst, so they can use that symbol, currency symbol only. It will not convert the rupee to dollar. These are only the symbols, currency style, okay? And how to take the percentage. <laughs> Again, just now we have seen conditional formatting. Formatting is nothing but we are adding something to the value. Condition means 
based on the conditions the cells are formatted so what type of conditions we are giving what sort of you know conditions we can give uh, we can how can how we can easily identify the performers by highlighting so all these are presenting all these are present in the home tab option like you know format table what are the advantages of format table why we are going to use this format as table in the data for the table styles what is the use what is the purpose of format as table and uh, insert and delete as you know these are very basic one but anyhow as part of the training i'll be just uh, telling you so format in format if you see all these are related to format setting up row height setting up row width hiding the columns and hiding the columns okay whatever you see options here you can see it here as well if i right click you can see the same option here okay so in the home tab i'll be covering each and everything without you know each and everything even there are sort and functions find and replace also there are many options this is very easy but you know whenever you are sending any data when you are you are working better you have to know the option in which tab it lies and what is the use of that option without that you can't you know use those options where is that option that means in which tab it lies and what is the option it is going to do these two are main things when you are working with excel okay if you are not aware you have to search how you are going to search okay if you know it's very easy and there are shortcuts i will tell you there are shortcuts with control i'll never recommend you to you know go with control shortcuts okay i never tell you to go with control shortcuts why because there are many shortcuts with control if you want to learn if you have time you can learn but for me if you click on alt all the tabs are highlighted you can see home tab is highlighted with a shortcut with a character insert tab is highlighted with a character page layout is highlighted is highlighted with p character so if i click on alt all the tabs are highlighted which tab i want to move i can just click on that character on the keyboard automatically it will enter into the tab okay under home tab these all are shortcut so everything will starts with alt plus so what are the tab you are going to use press alt what are the tab you are going to use h and these all are shortcut keys under home tab Okay, are you getting me? Hello. Yeah, yeah, sir. Are you getting me? Precious, some new people were there. Okay, are you getting me? Okay. So next, next, these are the things in the home tab, and. Uh, if you are looking into insert tab next i will be going to insert tab insert tab what you are going to learn do you end up forgetting all your microsoft excel insert tab okay insert tab you have very famous thing if you go to insert tab the data visualization part reporting part lies in you know insert tab you know all you have very important one is pivot table and charts remaining all are some basic concepts only inserting object all these are very common thing like you know Man, please switch off your video calls. <coughs> okay. In insert tab, we'll find we'll find pivot table and charts. Pivot table. What is pivot table? Any idea?
pivot table and charts any idea no idea trilok yeah uh, it's actually gives the summary of i think uh, the main uh, main sheet of summary um, main sheet yeah I, actually data data summary i think i believe yeah yeah it's just like you know i will tell you just like it has um, um how much i have used like uh, there are some four tabs in that which gives the um, some rows and uh, we can put the data on that and it gives the summary thing like what exactly we need from the huge uh, large num large amount of uh, data correct like a uh, pivot table is nothing but summarizing the data summarizing mean summarizing the data or creating the report based on our requirement Okay, are you able to see my data? Yes. Everyone able to see my data? Okay. If I ask you to create, what is the Anton? What is the Anton amount which he has purchased? Can anyone tell me? So, quarter two, it's um, $702. I want Anton's total cost, Anton's total cost of, you know, of this data. Um, Anton purchased many things. Like, for example, if you see, control shift. So this is the Anton's data. Okay, this is completely Anton's data. You can see here. Okay. I want overall value of Anton. Or I want to create a report based on the customer. How much a particular customer has spent? Have your kit. You're getting my question. So, if you want, you know, if you want to see, if you want to create a report, or if you want to play with the data, you know, if you want reports to be generated from this, just go to insert, click on pivot table. So if you create, if you drag and drop, so this is the sum of product wise total. Very simple. This plays a major role in real time. Pivot table plays a major role in real time. So people who are aware of pivot table and we look up those are the masters in real time. As far as I know. Okay. So nothing but product wise, you can see this is this product sum and this product and how many they have purchased you can directly how many they have purchased you can directly put it here you can take the count who are else purchased you can directly just drag it here for each product how many customers what is the value you can see it here Okay, within a fraction of seconds, you can create your report and you can analyze the data. You're getting me? Any questions? Okay, pivot table is nothing but, you know, creating reports based on the requirements or summarizing the data. Just now I've shown you how to create 
you know pivots creating pivots and you know generating some reports and analyze just whatever the decisions you want to make or management want to make they will make based on you know the report and next uh, charts charts i'll tell you the basic charts and how to create advanced charts as well you can see it here in this i have created a dashboard you can see it here if i click on anything automatically the chart will change and the values will change okay so here you see one time you see the axis 0 500 one another side it is starting from 0 1 2 3 4 this is a dual axis chart. I have inserted two charts here. So not only the basic chart. Basic chart is nothing but just you can select and you can apply any chart, whatever you feel. Okay. If you want line chart, you can apply line chart. If you want whatever the chart you want, you can apply. Okay. Basic charts. But here, this is chart. It plays, you know, dual axis chart, which I have inserted two charts. One is line chart. Another one is bar chart, column chart. Okay. So in insert, there are many options. You can insert, you can create any chart. So you have charts, line charts, and you have pie, you have tree map. Bubble chart, scatter. You have many charts, okay? Um, but any chart, whatever you're doing, it should be, the, it should show a meaningful chart. So one uh, normal layman, like who doesn't know about the subject, who doesn't know about it, is able to like for example, our charts can be, you know, when you are creating a chart or report, that chart or report will be seen, will will be will be going to many people. So when they view this chart, it should be in a normal layman term. So if even a person who doesn't know any subject, it should be very much clear to him, to him or her. So that much clarity you have to maintain when you are preparing any report. Okay. So this I have created with the help of uh, formulas and all, but not the basic chart. My intent is to tell you we can create dual charts as well. So this is one type of dual chart. Okay. In pivot table, so in insert, these are the main options. And the spark lines is nothing but these we can see, uh, we can have a chart, we can have a visualization on a single cell. On a single cell. Like for example, If you want to have a line chart in a single cell, you can see it here. You have a chart with you in the line chart. So when the data is huge, when you are not able to represent the huge thing in your chart, you can have a chart in cells. So here it gives trend line, column, or win or loss. Anything is possible. Okay. So these are the main options. And slicer, you can have it in. Uh, it's like a slicer is nothing but which comes under filter group. So slicer is slicers are used to just filter the data, just filtering the data. But visually, it shows, you know, visually, it looks like a dashboard, like you have multiple buttons and you can just click on the buttons so the data will be filtered. So it will be very beautiful, you know, when you apply slicer on a pivot table. So the view will be, it shows, you know, the view will be, it shows like a, you know, complete neat dashboard. Wherever you can't find any cells or anything, it finds it only gives a buttons filtering buttons if you just click on that button automatically the data will be fetched and filtered slices time 
liners is only for the date options for the date fields. So if you want quarters data, if you want monthly data, if you want a uh, week wise data, so all thing you can put it in timeline data. That is also one type of filter. That filter can be applied when you have date fields in your data. If not, you can't apply timeline. Okay. And remaining all these are illustrations, which are nothing but only inserting shape, uh, you know, which is, I can say, which is not much useful. If you want to insert, you can play in and around. If you want to insert a picture, I don't think you will insert a picture, you know, in real time when you are working on the data. But if you want, you can use. Okay. But for the beautification, like if when you're preparing a dashboard like this, you can at the corner, you can put your company icon or your team icon. And you can, you know, you can explain them. It looks somewhat better. Okay. So this is about the insert tab. And next tab we have is page layout. Okay. Next tab we have is page layout. Able to hear me, everyone? Yes, sir. Am I clear? Under, are you able to understand what I'm trying to say? No, I'm able to understand. <laughs> Remaining. Shivani, Shriya, Sham Kumar, Spandana. Yes, sir. Are you able to understand what I'm trying to say? Yes, sir. Okay, you responded. Okay. And next coming to page layout. Page layout is nothing but, you know, working uh, when you want to take printouts. So these are very much useful options. These are very useful options, but not at every time. But when you are taking printouts, these options are useful. Not every time. So I don't think you'll take, you know, you'll be working on page layout, but some or the other time you will be taking printouts. Knowing the options is very helpful. At any point of time, you can use. Okay. So what type of pages you are using? What type of margins you want? What type of orientations you need? What size of paper you are using? Okay, all these are present here. So these are only used for taking printout. Okay, for example, if you want to repeat a row at top for each and every sheet, like you know, when you're taking printouts, if the data is in 40 pages, only the first page you will be getting the first heading. But I want to repeat the same heading for all the sheets. Okay, so here is the option print titles. So in this, you can repeat the top row for each page means that first row will be repeated for all the pages. This is one of the important options. Like for, you know, you can't, you need not to copy and paste e that header row for each and every sheet. So just go to print titles, just give the range row to repeat at top, which row you want to repeat at top. So that row will be repeated multiple sheets in all the sheets. That is very, very important option. And next thing is, if you want to print a particular area, like I don't want a complete sheet to be printed. I want only the particular area to be printed. So this is the print area option, which will be very useful in your real time. Okay, if you want to print only certain part of the page or certain part of the Excel sheet. So you have to set that print area, then after you can go for the printout. And you can customize your margins as well. If you go to customs, you can find out the margins. So top, left, what over you want to. So you can give to the header and footer. You can customize your header and footer options as well. Where you can put your path, where you can put your heading, you can put your footer options, page number, number of pages, date, time, and everything. Okay. Next. Um, Next, so these are grid lines and headlines. If you, if I untick, 
you can see all the sheet looks like a, you know, the grid lines will be removed and you can see a plain sheet. If you tick on this, you will have this boxes. If I untick, you can't see those boxes. Okay. If you want to print this boxes, you can tick on this. If you want, don't want, you can untick this. The same option here, headings. So A and B and these rows are called as headings. So if you want to remove those headings or if you want to put those headings. Print, if you want to print, you don't want. And all these are related to object related options. Like, you know, inserting image, bringing front and sending back the images and, and at all. So I'll show you which is not much useful. Okay, this is about page layout. And coming to most important thing, formulas. So instead of concentrating most of the options, options can do many things, but without ha having the knowledge of formulas, it's very tough to work in Excel advanced Excel concept. If somebody gives you some data, if you have to analyze and bring out some insights from that, it's very tough without knowing formulas. Like for example, if there is a date which is in text format, you can't even extract month yearly wise data. That data we need to convert into a date format, proper date format. So that can be done with the help of formulas. Okay. So here we have text to formulas. This is the only main important part. I'll tell you guys, this is a very, very important part. Try to concentrate, try to concentrate on this part only, formulas part, which will help you, you know, if you learn these formulas, these formulas helps you, your job very much easy to learn other tools also. Like if you go to Power BI, similar formulas were there in Power BI. If you go to Tableau, similar formulas are present in Power BI. If you want to learn VBA also, these formulas are available in VBA also. Nothing but the development of automation of Excel automation. And if you want to learn any data visualization tool, you will find text to formulas, date formulas, data difference formulas, arithmetic formulas, statistical formulas, Okay, if you learn, if you concentrate on these formulas, the other tools will become very much easier. So here you can able to see and you can you, you can view the data and you can apply the formula. Similar way, if you're coming for other tools also, there also you will find the similar type of formulas. It will become very much easier, whether you learn or not. If you just learn the user interface of any other tool and start learning the formulas, you can start learning your formulas on your own. Okay. I recommend you people please concentrate on this formulas part. So I'll be giving some advanced formulas which will help your, your job, you know, make easier. The only thing is you have to analyze the data and which formula you are going to use, whatever the formula you are going to use in that situation you need you need to be perfect of the output of the formula and what sort of input it will take so these both are very much important like you know what type of formula you are using what is the input of that formula what is the output of that formula before itself when you are analyzing the data itself you have to that should you know run in your minds what formula i can use what is the output of that formula everything should be you know running in your mind, then only you will be very much perfect in advanced concept and advanced formulas. Okay, for example, I'll show you a few formulas. Here I have lot of text functions. Here I have lot of text functions. So you can see these are the text functions we are going to learn. 
like upper, lower, proper, left, right, mid. You can say find, search, length, substitute, replace, concatenate, trim. So all this you are going to learn, all these formulas. This is about only one part in text formulas only, not the, all the functions. These are only text formulas. You can see here when you come down. So these are also formulas, exact dollar, code, clean cash. So here after I gave all the formulas, after that I gave a task to them. So I told them to extract first and make them only. Okay, I told them to extract only first name and mid name. So this is a formula which I'm using. <laughs> so if you don't know this formula, you have to type. So how much time it will take to type the first 10 minutes. But if you understand the logic, if you know the formula, what is the input and what is the output I'm using? I know as before only when I'm applying, what is the logic I'm using, I already know. So if you are aware at this level, it the Excel is very easy, okay? Excel is very easy. The only thing is you have to practice. So without practicing, it will be very tough. And here you see it will count the words as well. If I put comma, it will count the words. Here I have one, two, three, four, five. If I add any word here, see, it shows six words. I have six words. If you put comma and if you start writing, seven words. Here I have one, two, three, I guess, how many words I have? One, two, only two words. If I start writing, three words. Okay, so all these are text functions, only text functions, upper, lower, proper, left, right, mid, and you can say find, search, Len, concatenate, substitute, replace, trim, and some other formulas as well. So all these formulas you have to learn, you have to practice, and you have to know what is the input and what is the output at the same time. Okay, so this is about text function. So after text functions, we'll be moving to arithmetic functions. We'll move to arithmetic and statistical functions. So automatic and statical functions. So I'll give an example. See for this, I've used the automatic and statistical function. Automatic and statical functions. So you see some of this. By using all these sum ifs and statical and the arithmetic functions, I have created this report. This is the customized report. And this is a report which gives, you know, from generated from this data. I told you I just created a pivot table here, pivot table here. Similar kind of report without creating pivot table, I have written with, you know, I have created with arithmetic formulas. So you can learn this as well. Instead of doing with pivot, you can directly create a report. So whatever you update here, here it will, the data will change automatically. So need not to, you know, bother about anything. 
just update the data there automatically it will update here for example i am changing the value now 3348 right 3348 3348 if i change uh, instead of 1500 i'll put 1500 here so automatically when i come here in the report Three three four eight for this. What is the customer? See the customer. Which customer I updated? Anton, right? So if I change it to Anton data, it will change. So if I put Anton and for this customer six four seven zero, if I change any value here, seven or two seven hundred five six seven zero. Earlier it was six thousand. Now it is five six seven zero. If I change it to 2000 plus, it goes to 7000 change. See, 6970. Chart will also change. If I change ANSIB syrup here, ANSIB syrup for Anton, if I put 1000, you see in the dashboard. Sorry, I changed. Uh, it is not considering this quarter. It is considering this quarter. I'll put 1000 here, then I'll get. See. <coughs> I think, sir, the dollar, dollar sign is missing for that. That's why it is not taking. No, 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 yeah, no, no. See here. The range I did not consider here. What is the range I'm taking? See here. From the okay, total. Okay, okay, okay. I did not consider quarter one. It is taking only quarter two, quarter three, quarter. Okay, okay. Okay. In the quarter second, I have increased, then automatically it got increased. So this is a predefined template. This is a dashboard which automatically, whatever you do in Excel source, here you can update here. So such a dynamic reports you can create. But if you learn you are not in a position to do. You have to practice. Then only you can start. Then only you will you will be, you know, you will start when you start creating some dashboards, then only it will be it will become very familiar for you. At one instance you can't, but you have to try multiple times. Dashboard is nothing but it's not a predefined template. So it's a creative thing which we have to create from, you know, by looking at the data, what sort of visualization I can bring out, you have to pull that sort of report and you have to design and you have to create that dashboard. Okay. It's not that easy, but if you want to create, you have to familiar with all the formulas and everything. And the way you want to represent also, it depends on the way you represent the data as well, the charts as well. So here we have automatic formulas. Let me see. See, these are nothing but slices. If I click on Anton, I'll be getting Anton data. If I click on box, box data. These are nothing but slices. And also I'll be getting quarter two. What is the sales quarter three? What is the sales quarter four? What is the sales quarter one? What is the sales? So based on the quarter, I'll be getting. And these are based on product. What is the sales of Ansys? Alice Mutton, Ansys Syrup, Boston Crab Meat, everything. Sparklines.
so these are arithmetic formulas like what is count a count blank count if count if s sum if sum if s what is the max formula will do what is the min formula will do what is small large rank there are many few formulas look at many other formulas as well in arithmetic and statistical formulas so after learning this you have to start building reports from this okay this is about formulas formulas we are done only arithmetic and statistical next we have logical functions logical functions means if function checking the condition if the condition is true what type of uh, you know output you want to print or what type of if it is false what type of output you want to print so it's a logical functions we have if and and or functions and some other uh, boolean functions like you know which throws output as true or false is text is blank is number some informative functions uh, is logical so there are some functions is now is any is not applicable so there are different types of informative and logical functions where we can use not sometimes not every time at some point of time those formulas are very much useful if you learn it you can your job will become very much easier actually okay logical functions then after look up and reference coming to look up and reference in look up and reference we have we look up which is very very important one we look up very very important one okay this is nothing but we look up i'll tell you in real time how we will be using it okay in we look up there are many scenarios not only one scenario there are many scenarios which will be covering in the class we look up h look up and pulling out our data from multiple sheets by itself you see this formula you see this formula this formula is pulling out the data from three different sheets okay using we look up it is pulling the data from three sheets so this i am applying only once i'll be getting the column information from all the columns if i ask you if this is a situation if i told if i tell you to pull out the information for all these columns okay this is a formula here we look up and match which which will pull all the columns information at one go then in look up and reference we have we look up match offset and let's look up so the difference between h look up and we look up is nothing but the data looks like this horizontal link this is h look up if you go for this look up we look up looks like like this vertically v look up vertically look up h look up horizontally look up okay next we'll see index match formula index formula which is very advanced than v look up okay there are some pros and cons with you know with v look up few things might not you know pull not able to do with the help of you know v look up uh, that can be solved with index formula so which is very very useful index and match so choose this is a choose formula offset i have created you know there's a chart dynamic chart where i'm not at all using any range physical range dynamically i have created one formula which pulls all the 
information dynamically. So based on that, my chart will change. The same thing goes with here. Q1, Q3, and Q4. Okay. Next, uh, these are come. These all formulas comes under lookup and reference. Next, we have uh, date and time functions. Information functions. Okay, date and time functions means working with date dates like you know how to find out the difference between two dates how to calculate the data difference between days how days months and years so that i'll be showing it to you and the uh, time also login time logout time and uh, how much break what is the exact hours built into your salary calculation next informative functions just it gives information is blank or is now so all that comes under information function so the major part will goes with formulas only, not any other. Major part of the time will come from only in learning form. So if you learn this in most of the things, formulas will be available. Okay, you'll be learning not the basic formulas with the advanced formulas. How to combine multiple formulas to you know, to resolve your situation. There is no formula at all for your situation. But I'll be using combination of multiple formulas. I can resolve my situation. Okay. In Excel, if you don't have any formula, you have to write manually. You have to type it. You have to do it manually. So if you don't have such type of formulas, we'll be using VBA, which is nothing but automation. So instead of learning programming and everything, with the help of few things, if you are aware, you can create your own thing. Next, what tab? What is the tab we have next tab? Next tab is data tab. Okay, data tab is nothing but uh, we can import data from multiple external sources. So we can import data from text file. We can import data from web. We can import data from SQL servers. We can import data from, you know, he gave some predefined connectors, get external data from access, from web, from text, from other sources. If you scroll down, you can import data from SQL server and you can, you can apply your formulas. You can create your own chart. You can analyze your data, whatever you want you can do. You can also import your data. Okay, so from SQL Server analysis or data XML, if you see new query, you have many things. From databases, from Azure, from online services, OLAP. Okay. And after this, we have a normal things only. Filter, advanced filter, text to columns. This I'll be covering here. Only these are the things. How to import the data and analyze the data. Remove duplicates, flash fill, functional data. I'll be covering each and everything. Okay, data attack. Next, coming to review. So in review, uh, check accessibility. This is, you know, I will tell you in while taking one situation and uh, translating, <laughs> translating, applying the comments, and protecting your sheet, protecting your workbook, and allowing edit. Like if you are protected your sheet or if you are protected your workbook on a SharePoint, 
how to give access to people like you know how to access you how to give access to the people who you want to give you can give access only to them rest of them we cannot edit that range so that can be done with allow edit ranges and in view we have how to view the window very simple so all these options you can find it here normal page layout and page break preview normal page break preview page layout okay so the same custom bar if you want to remove you can settings if you want to remove the same thing which we have seen in page layout how to you know zoom in zoom out instead you can use here also zoom in zoom out oh uh, these are very important options while auditing you know you can duplicate your worksheet you can scroll and you can audit your data as well like by putting the same data same sheet into two windows you can audit the data as well that can be done with view like arrange panes view side by side okay you can see it view side by side so we can scroll at a time you can audit the files we can show this comes under view option okay so till here i'll be covering here if you have any questions you can ask any questions guys hello hello yeah sir i can hear you you look any questions um so so you will be covering this tab home insert uh, page layout formulas and data review and view So yes. this will be come under the basic of the Excel. No, basic only home tab functionalities. Remaining all comes under advanced. Skills. Advanced like Excel. formulas, creating your own formulas, few tables, combining the formulas, and few data, importing text. All this comes under advanced. Okay, okay. So, um, um, um so so my basic question is like like um, I am been working on Excel, but uh, the thing is that. how to remember those formulas and how to use those formulas when to use those formula and what the result will be get like uh, i have that question yeah yeah that uh, the only thing is practice here yeah, really. that is the only thing without practicing i'll tell you you stop stop learning next <laughs> <laughs> okay. statement why because you look you know all these formulas are very much useful not at this point of time at any point of time all these formulas are very much useful. yeah if you are not practicing if you don't know how to give input if you don't know how to what is the output we are getting how you will apply that mm -hmm. i'll make you to comfort by understanding the formula the input and the output but if you are not learning if you are not practicing that is not in my hands right till now right right Please. in minimum practice is required not only this software any software you if you go you have to practice evening i am learning one of the software i am trainer for excel i am taking training from other trainer again i am practicing so if you practice it will be very much easier okay yeah. so do we need to download any kind of software or something no to for need. excel you there is no need to have excel that is more than enough okay um so data will be provided by you yes i'll be giving the data i'll be giving the situations i'll be giving some tests as well if you want you have to write those for practicing okay so uh, so macros and vbas are the different uh, different i think different course yes 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 look macros different uh, those are two different things okay you know that comes under pure programming development and this is working only with excel okay okay okay, okay. so that so that also uh, has huge demand that also has huge yeah demand. yeah so when i want to learn that vba and macros yeah yeah but if you are familiar with any business process that is uh, you know you can automate them as well that is only used for the automation actually 
DBA used for automation. So if you are dealing with any repeated task, you can automate and you can, you know, your your life will become very, very, very much. So just click the button, keep point. That's it. So, but for automating us, it requires a lot of efforts. Okay. So keep keeping on practicing and doing the uh, learning it more and more, it will be helped. Yes, it is. That will, is the only it will so it will solve the what all the questions I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyone has any questions? So for this, uh, I'll we will be posting you when I'm going to start this batch. First thing, and mm -hmm. second thing, I'll be uh, providing you the sheet, whatever the work, wherever I'm working, the working sheet, wherever I'm showing to you how the formulas are working. That sheet I'll be providing you on day to day basis. That means after the completing the session. And you will be getting the training video as well. So if you miss the class also, you can re, you know, mm -hmm. replay that and you can start practicing on your own. Okay. Still, if you have any questions, you can come, you can ask us. We are here to help you. Okay. But the only thing is you have to practice. Without practicing, it's very tough. If it is a general ledger, like, you know, data entry kind of thing, no need of learning Excel directly. If you can ask the people, guys, beside who is sitting, you, they'll tell you with the help of arrow marks, how to move, how to enter. So that's fine. But if you are learning in depth, you have to practice. So um, I'm okay with the weekend batches, but uh, yeah, the team has told me that there will be only four weeks of uh, for the, of the month, and uh, the, the training will be only for four weeks. That is by weekend days. So yes, uh, yes, is it yes. will it, will that be covering all the um, all the things in that four weeks? And, Everything uh, will be covered, uh, Trilok. But the only thing is the training time will be more. Yeah, it's three hours. Four hours. Yeah, four, four hours. hours. So yeah, so that, four that hours is my means next question. I yeah. can cover in I can complete Excel in four hours. <laughs> yeah, that is the next question because uh, learning new thing yeah. takes time, and uh, yeah. taking four hours uh, in one day, so it mm. will be uh, like it will be more lengthy to it will be take time to grasp as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the thing the uh, I'll be going concept wise concept. Mm -hmm. First of all, I'll be starting with text to formulas. I'll be giving time in between also. I will be taking breaks as well. <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, that's the thing here. Yeah. Look, if you're going for weekends, you know, that's the thing. Yeah. You're know, you getting in between, you're getting five days, right? All right. Again, if we are prolonging that weekends, one hour means, you know, it goes the it goes for six months. <laughs> mm -hmm. One hour, one hour. All right. So let's see, let's work out, you know, if you want also, I can, you know, so I can extend one more weekend also, if I'm mm -hmm. not able to complete yeah, in yeah. that, I can extend or in this time only we can complete most of the things. But I suggest you people, if you are practicing parallelly also, I can help you. Yeah, I'm, I'm practicing is a must. Parallelly, parallelly. Yeah. When you're doing parallelly, we like, for example, if you put your phone on and if you are if in front of your machine, if you're practicing when you're, when I'm trying to say, when you are practicing at the same time, that will also help you. I'm ready for that as well. Why? Because at the same time, we'll be getting the subject at the same time, you, your doubts will be resolved. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. So that means in this four weekends, in that way we can cover. Like it will be very helpful for us, you know, to complete parallelly by practicing, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, understood. Parallelly. Even if you don't have time, also this you can recover from the training time only. Yeah. Yeah, that's the that's all my questions. Yeah.
anyone has any questions, please let me know. Remaining all. If no one has questions, we will wind up this session. Shivani, poor, or somehow let us make it three. What it is. Still having questions? Anyone? Shivani, don't worry. Yeah. We will still work on that. So definitely we let you know. All for us, I'll be also not taking it. Like you see, from one and a half hour only my throat, you know, I'm coughing. You know, I can't start for four hours also. I'll be taking breaks in between, like you know, I'll be giving some situation, I'll be moving out, coming in. So it will be like a comfortable session only. But the only thing is. You have to sit and you have to listen. And you have to practice at the same time. Still having questions? So if no responses, I'm closing the session. Thank you. Thank you all. Uh, the team will let you know when the batch is going to start. So we will start the batch. Okay. Thank you. Thank you all. Bye. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Bye. Thanks, Trilog. It was nice talking to you. Yeah. Same here. <laughs>